Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about Acoustic Fields Simplified. People seem to be confused about what we actually do. I don't know how that's possible, but hopefully this video will kind of help explain a little bit about what, what we do. Just think about three main areas that we focus on. We, we, we focus on design, absorption, and diffusion. That's what we're all about. Now the design, you got to break it down into two parts, right? Noise and treatment. We're building a room. This is called our shell, and we're generating energy that's leaving the room, and then we're getting energy that's outside the room coming in. So we have to build the shell, and then inside the room is the treatment phase, right? Okay, so think of a turtle, tortoise shell, and inside is where the turtle lives. Well, that's what we do here. We create the shell based on noise numbers, and then we do the treatment also. So that depends on usage, right? So we have two kinds of technology. Carbon, which is for our low frequency management inside our diaphragmatic absorbers. And then our foam, which is mids and highs. That's what it's all about, above 125. Rate and level is always critical. Look at the graph on the carbon, our ACDA12. Look at the performance. Look at the graph on the foam. Look at the rates and levels. They're almost identical. That's purposely designed that way so that they both work together, okay? This seems to be a real confusing issue for most, noise. Everybody guesses, everybody guesses wrong. Problem is, you build something that's wrong, call me, I may not be able to fix it. We may have to tear it out and start all over again. Follow the carpenter adage, measure twice, cut once. Measure your noise. We have a process where you use your phone, you fill out the data on an online form, and you send it in. We've done over a thousand of these. It's a good, good, accurate process. Everybody's happy with the results. They either build it themselves after the numbers come in and we send them the drawing for the barrier, or they have contractors do it. Everybody's happy. He's got a call from an engineer in Los Angeles where we built a room. Well, he built it. We did the design work. His neighbor's six feet away. He mixes at 2 o'clock in the morning. Rock music. Neighbor can't hear him. Six feet away. Now, we have 12-inch thick walls on a slab with springs underneath it for earthquake management. I mean, it was a complicated project had to pour more concrete slab to support the weight. But this will give you an idea of what you can achieve. I mean, we can make it as quiet as you can afford. Okay, that's basically an easy way to say it. Treatment, low frequency management. Excuse me, we put it in the walls with our carbon absorption. Carbon absorbing wall, CAW, there we go. So the carbon absorbing wall is a great process because Stud space width is 14 and a half inches. So we basically can tune this room every 14 and a half inches. We can vary the thickness of the absorber of the carbon, right? So we can do that. What, what does varying the thickness does? Increases the rate. We can control the cavity depth, which determines the resonant frequency for that area of the room. Every wall surface area exhibits a certain frequency and amplitude of problem. So every wall surface area can be tuned every 14 and a half inches, which is the distance between our studs. So grabbing something every 14 and a half inches with this much control, nothing gets away. That's why we guarantee the response on our rooms that uh, we design and build ourselves. Because we know we can go after any kind of modal structure issue in the wall itself. If there's some issues remaining, we can use Hemholtz for fine tuning, or we can use some freestanding units to substitute. We usually can get it all inside the walls, unless pressure levels are really, really high. Freestanding is another option with our ACDA series on casters. Live room guys like that, drummers like it, because they can move it around. So we have the carbon absorbing wall, the ACDA, and the carbon panels for low frequency management. Then we have our foam technology, 
for middle and high frequency absorption. And then diffusion. Diffusion is a process most people don't understand. Quadratic, been doing it for 30 years, been using it. So I know exactly what it does. I know exactly what two dimensions do. I know exactly what one dimensions do. And I know exactly what usage they work within and what usages they don't. And if you don't have experience with diffusion, two things happen. There's regret after people get it in that they didn't get it sooner. And they're delighted with the sound quality that they get. Diffusion is a technology to make a small room sound larger. And if you use it in the right spots, you, you really get an impact. Go on um, the project page and, and watch some of the videos. Critical listening environment. Listen to some of those videos there. You'll see uh, what the customer has experienced, especially with the right balance of diffusion and absorption. So I hope this helps. Three areas that we focus on. Design, noise and treatment, and absorption and diffusion. Our carbon and our foam are part of the absorption process, and quadratic diffusion is the only true diffusion, so that's the only one we use because it's really predictable and consistent. And the wonderful thing about it, it has a frequency response, just like a speaker. So you can put it in the right position with the right usage and get really good results. So I hope this helps. Acoustic Field Simplified. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.